Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our Google Sheet as a database for your medium to lightweight web application. So you no need to rely on a conventional databases like Oracle or MySQL. So this is the uh, Google Sheet that I'm going to use as a database. And let me show you how to retrieve the information in the form of a pay call. So for that, I'm using this uh, third-party sheet app which help us to convert all the records in my Google Sheet in the form of a JSON which I can retrieve using a simple get request. So I have given a link in the YouTube description and you need to sign up with a Gmail with the same Gmail account where you keep this Google Sheet. Once you sign up you can see a dashboard like this and from here you can follow me along. So now go to your Google Sheet. Here I'm contain two sheet, sheet one and sheet two. So sheet one uh, contains some data and sheet two also contain uh, some employee related data. So let's see how to uh, get this information in the form of JSON. So to do that first you have to copy the URL, Google Sheet URL. But if you look at here, it's still a private and this app take care of sharing the information to the get request. So you no need to worry about the share access of this Google Sheet. You can still keep this as private. And now go to this dashboard and click on create new. And here you can see it ask for a Google spreadsheet URL. Paste the Google spreadsheet URL. And click on create API. So within few seconds, uh, API for that particular Google Sheet will be created by this application. And here you can see that you have created a new API. So now you can uh, consume the data which is present in this Google Sheet using this API. So here you can see an icon, uh, go to API URL. Now I'm going to copy the link. Now let's see how to access that. So to access that, I'm using a Postman. I have selected the get request and I pasted the link in the text box. Now click on send. So now I get all the records which is present on the sheet one. So it contains 15 records and for the object name, it take the header as an object name to display all the records. So if you see here, the uh, record number one, name is Mike and the employee ID is E on and you can see the same over here. So now the question is how to get the information from the sheet two, right? So on the same API request, you need to pass an additional parameter for that. So add a question mark followed by sheet as a key equal to and your actual sheet name as a value you can give any name for this sheet but the best practice is don't give the space in between the names so you can alternatively use the underscore if your sheet name contain two or three keywords so mine is let me name this as large underscore m db right so this is my sheet name i'm going to copy this sheet name and go to the postman so paste it uh, over here so that this api fetch all the information which is present on this particular sheet large mdb now let's see how it works click on the send now you can see i got almost uh, 451, uh, 451 employee records which is present in this large MPB. Right, so for all the information is present on the large MPB is uh, retrieved in the form of a JSON. And now let's see how to filter the records. So uh, let's assume that uh, you want to retrieve the data from 
8, let's say 11 to 20, right? So to do that, you need to uh, pass some additional parameters like your limit. So this limit says how many records that you want to retrieve. And I want to retrieve 10 records and the additional parameter is offset. And here you need to specify from after which record I want to retrieve the information. So I want to retrieve all the records which present after my 10th record. So it will fetch from 11 and the limit says 10. So it restrict up to 20. So now just click on send and see. So if you see here, it took the record 11 and it filtered up to 20. And if you just want to uh, retrieve the list of keys or in other words, only the headers which is present on the sheet, you can do so uh, by removing all this one followed by slash keys and now click on send. So it retrieve all the keys which is present on the sheet one. And if you want to uh, pull the keys from the sheet two, uh, you have to pass the additional parameter of sheet is equal to sheet name followed by this keys. So like this. Now, if you click on send, you can retrieve all the information which is present on the large M DB. And in case if you uh, want to retrieve the name of your Google document, you can pass an additional route name, name. Now click on send and this gives you the Google document name. This is employee database. If you look at my Google sheet, the name is employee database, right? And if you want to retrieve all the sheets which is available on this Google document, you have to pass sheets and now click on send. So it gives a JSON object with an object named sheets and this sheets contain an array which contain all the sheets available in your Google Sheets. So in case if you want to look through all the records, you should know the count of records, right? So uh, let's assume that I want to get the number of rows which is present on this large M database. So I'm going to add one more route called count followed by question mark and here you have to specify the sheet name and my sheet name is large name DP and if you click on send it will give you 450 so which is the record count on this particular Google sheet. This is how you can retrieve the record count. So that's it for this video. I have given a, a dashboard link as well as documentation link uh, in the description. Just go ahead and check that out. And in the next video, we will see more CRED operation related to this. That's it. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.